my name's Andrew Quillen and I'm with Acura PR. And we are here in the all new 2019 Acura RDX in beautiful Whistler, Canada, here for the launch of this vehicle. This most simply is just next generational uh, vehicle, both in terms of design, performance, and technology, the, the experience of the vehicle. So interior materials, interior quality, and, and next level technology is all what we're debuting here in this 2019 RDX. That's probably most evident in the interior with this all new Acura True Touchpad interface. This is really the result of a clean sheet approach to a user interface design that our team undertook starting about five years ago. And you know, evaluated kind of all options available, all options you know, that, that existed and said, you know, what, what's ideal for uh, a user interface in the driving environment. What they, what they determined was they wanted to create a system that was one, easy to learn, two, easy to use while driving. That was paramount. So for it to be easy to use while driving, initially the first kind of first decision was, well, we need the screen up forward and up in your natural, as close to your natural line of sight as possible. And that enables you to, to keep your eyes focused on the road with minimal eye movement down. Next, going to easy to learn, Looking at how we interact with devices in our, in our everyday life, it's really obvious that touchscreens are very easy to learn, and it's why they've proliferated our lives really in phones and tablets and other devices. But there's a compromise in the driving environment, and that's uh, one is that the placement usually needs to be right about here, lower in the dash, requiring you to move your eyes down for visual confirmation. So that you know kind of was seen as a challenge. So our team tried to figure out a way where we could get that uh, intuitiveness of a touchscreen while still maintaining that ideal screen placement. What we did was we created this true touchpad and this uses what's called absolute positioning. Absolute positioning means there's one-to-one -one mapping from the touchpad to the screen. We're familiar with one-to-one -one mapping because it's effectively what our phones use with a layer for the display and a layer for the what, what senses touch. What we've done here is we've just separated those two layers. So the screen is up high and the touch interaction is down here where your hand will naturally rest while driving. If I touch the top left of this touchpad, I get a, a highlight in the top left of the screen. Same would happen in the top right, bottom right, and bottom left. That highlighting is big and bold and very easy to see in the periphery of your vision. You can also jump corner to corner with this touchpad. What you, as opposed to with a trackpad where you need to find a cursor, reorient yourself, and then go to the desired location. This system allows you to immediately jump corner to corner, selecting items just as you would if it was a touchscreen. We also took another key thing from our phones and tablets uh, that we all really like, and that's customization. All of us customize our phones to our own personal preferences, and you can do the exact same thing here with this system. The audio sources that you use most frequently, you're able to put those in a prominent position where you can find them uh, quickly. If I don't use FM, for, an, for example, I could remove it or move it to a secondary screen. You can add favorite destinations, favorite contacts, all right to this home screen. And, and very quickly be able to access those. A destination you go to frequently can be accessed in just one click and immediately the navigation is directing you there. It's very quick, very intuitive, very easy to learn and very easy to use while driving. The touchpad is divided into two zones. You have an A zone and a B zone with a, with a dividing ridge right in, the, in between the two. And that corresponds directly with those zones on the screen. There's this line indicating A zone, B zone here. And that allows you to have navigation, for example, on one side and an audio source on the other side. This is where most people tend to live while they're driving their vehicles using these two apps most frequently. I can quickly switch those two and uh, add a destination and then maybe go back to audio source as the navigation kind of operates in the background. Uh, if, you get a, if you get a phone call while you're driving, that display will come up on the right hand side. So you're not interrupting whatever your primary content is on the, on the a zone of the display. You also have three hard buttons across the top. This allows you to, to have easy access to back, home, and then options here as well. Those are very important items to have to kind of uh, create a system that's very easy to use. Um, it helps eliminate frustration by immediately being able to go back one step or even directly to the home page. What's really cool about this system is it can actually replicate 
physical buttons in a way. Uh, physical buttons are really ideal. They're you know the most intuitive as far as what you see is what you press, and you, and you can develop muscle memory to them. Well, you know once you're familiar with your vehicle and have spent some time with it. A touch screen pretty much always requires some level of visual confirmation. You can get you can remember where things are, but usually have to you know look to confirm you you're in the right area. Uh, with this system, I know that navigation is always in the top left of my home screen and I have a home button so I can be anywhere in the system I could you know close my eyes and have you know someone else go into these deep into settings go to some menu that I I don't know where the system is without looking I can press this home button know that I'm on my home screen and I know that navigation is in the top left so without looking I can select navigation highlight it and and open navigation from there bottom left is always find so I can put my finger in the bottom left and select find and I have favorite destinations that are down there at the bottom too. I can select a favorite destination again without ever giving visual confirmation. I'm just operating off of the muscle memory. Bottom right is an ad favorite. If I go in one, Starbucks. That's one of my favorite destinations I go to frequently. I've chosen Starbucks. I've never looked at the screen to confirm that I selected that item. I just know that I did because I remember where I where I put items I frequently use and I've developed muscle memory on this touchpad. It's incredible, it's easy to use while driving, and there's no other system like this on the market. All right, now that you've seen the new True Touchpad interface, I'm gonna take this 2019 RDX for a drive.